The University of Maryland is getting ready for a deep clean after 30 students got the adenovirus. A freshman died from it last month. Our John Gonzalez spoke exclusively with a student recovering from the virus. He is in College Park right now with the interview that you'll see only on 7. It has been three weeks since University of Maryland freshman Olivia Paragall died of complications from the adenovirus. And as of today, the university's health center knows of 30 confirmed cases of students with adenovirus, including eight students who have been hospitalized. Students are now receiving this notice, letting them know that the school will be spending the winter break vigorously disinfecting and cleaning Elkton Hall. The email states that this will be beyond typical cleaning practices during the cold and flu season. The family of the 18 year old who suffered from Crohn's disease raised red flags shortly after she fell very ill about concerns with mold inside the dorm hall. We just spoke to a first year student who had a confirmed case. I got my blood work done and they like found antibodies in my blood for it. So they assumed that like I had it recently or whatever, but I had like pneumonia, the flu and the adenovirus. And but. you're still here at Elkton Hall. Are you yeah. concerned? No, not really. They're doing the best they can to like fix the problem. So like I can't really blame them. It's a hard thing to like combat. Hired contractors escorted by university staff will disinfect frequently touched surfaces inside the resident hall rooms, suites, and apartments. The university is giving students the chance to opt out and not have their spaces disinfected, but they must fill out a form by December 18th. At the University of Maryland, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.